But you have to have flat screen for that. Yeah. yeah. I was going to buy yeah, I'm one. Looking a for new a, TV in, I was uh, down at the computer store and they said I can get, uh, I think, uh, a 40 something for $100. No. No, that's not right. Now, you can go to Peterborough and they have a sale on right now. You can get a 50, 52 inch flat screen uh, plasma that you can use for a computer monitor. Well, and a TV and all that shit. Yeah. And it's 498 bucks. And that's about the cheapest deal you're going to get right now. Yeah. You get 30, you can get a 30 inch flat screen or 32 inch flat screen for a computer monitor for probably. So. Oh, Hundred bucks, hundred and thirty bucks in the used. Like new, they're generally two sixty. Well, that computer place right downtown by uh, the old internet office. cafe. Old, old office extra. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's internet cafe. Uh, no, that's over on the other street. Office extra. Oh, that fucking place. Oh, okay, I know what you're talking about. They said they get me brand new for uh, forty three something for a hundred dollars. Yeah, I think something brand seems new. fucking fishy there. But if you can do her, do her. Why do you want a screen that big? Where I can see better. See what better? Everything. <laughs> Close ups. Like the favorite thing I love the most in the world is pussy. I can't get enough of it. Fuck Barney, give me a minute, give a phone move. <laughs> no, keep going. I already got mine on, so we're good. <laughs> All right. Cool. Yeah. Like Go I, I love smelling it, licking it, tasting it, feeling it, looking at it. I just. And I, I guess that's why I'm able to please them so much because I enjoy it so much. I enjoy pleasing them. Yeah, but what if a girl likes to shave? It doesn't matter. I love it. <clears throat> I thought you liked uh, the hairier the I better. I like it all, always. I thought you said the hairier the better. No, I, I, I said I don't mind hairy ones. Oh. I like hairy ones, but I also like shaved ones. I, but my favorite is big, long, puffy ones with big, fluffy lips and lots of clip hanging in it. Like so the some, girls, some girls only got short little... Lips and some of them got long lips. They're beef curtains. Oh, I love those. And another word they're using for it now is uh, camel toes. I love seeing camel toes. Oh, do you, you seem more like a moose knuckle kind of guy. <laughs> yeah, you moose knuckle. You know what camel toes is, eh? Yeah, it's when your fucking pants are jammed up your crotch. Yeah, when, but a moose, when their pussy lips are showing through the pants. Yeah, well, a moose knuckle is a girl with a huge vagina that just jams her in up to their fucking neck. So you're into the moose knuckles, my friend. The bigger the pussy, the better. I just love it. Holy, you get lost. You have to strap two by four to your ass. I just love kissing it, smelling it, feeling it, looking at it, tasting it, everything. <laughs> and I have. You want a girl that you gotta like do the four finger shuffle just to get to the clip? I had one that would take what? a long hand up there. Whoa! Uh, yeah, what? I had a girl once that I could put my whole hand up there. Fuck, is it good for you? Did she call you her puppet master? She enjoyed it. <laughs> puppet master. Yeah. Like I, I don't like even my doctor surprised on how how much uh, testosterone I have for my age. How do they measure that? Well, because I like, like take a blood sample. Because I like sex. So oh, you told her that. Oh, okay. I thought you meant you know, real. Like she even offered to give me pills to tone it down. I almost took a. Well, you said it's kind of like a curse. In a way, it is. So why would you take the pills only when you didn't want to have sex? I do want to have sex. I just don't like all the bad publicity I get about it. The bad what? Publicity. Oh. Have you always been this way? Yep. Six hours? Yep. Yep. When you actually, were like 18, actually, did you do Actually, I would hours? go longer, but it's, it's six hours is the longest that the girl's gone without getting raw. Huh. Most of them get raw around four hours. Pack my nice. That's when you get the olive oil. <laughs> you don't want to use baby oil because then you can't lick it anymore. <laughs> oh, you got that, sir. Do you use virgin oil? Yeah, I don't use any of those um, those sex lubrications. It tastes bad. <laughs> What if you're you not supposed that, to drink what, what if you got one that tasted like vagina? <laughs> <laughs> That's something somebody can make millions of dollars on if they made pussy smell. I think only for you, buddy. I don't know. You, you, know, they have to do, don't, you know they don't all smell the same, right? I, don't, I know that. But I don't think well, that. That's weird, Barney, because all they have to do is not shower for a couple weeks and anybody can make the pussy smell. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> 
leaving it that long, it's worse than that. That's fish smell. But I can't believe most of the guys that say, oh, you're gross, I don't believe in that, I don't, I don't like pussy smell. I like fuck. If you eat pussy, you like pussy smell. You may not like the rotten pussy smell, no one would, but good pussy, is, you can't beat that. The best thing in the whole fucking world. Well, I wouldn't, you'd probably be charged with it. What? If you beat it. Um, <laughs> I beat it every day, I'm not sure. <laughs> 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 oh. It's always a pleasure, Barney. Always a pleasure coming in here. I like now you know why I stay in my room. <laughs> <laughs> I like to get somebody to uh, do my uh, life story. I got so many things I've Like books on tape? No, I like do my auto autobiography. Oh. Well. Pretty much rolling right now. Yeah, but no, that's not quite it. Like my autobiography is more than that. I get, I, I get right into things that I've done and happened to me. Hey, don't worry. We're yeah, as long as you want to talk, we'll videotape. We could do your autobiography, mm -hmm. and it'd probably take us a couple of weeks. Oh, well, it'll take longer than that. You think so? Yeah. Oh, no, I don't want to hang I've, con that I've constantly had people tell me that I've lived about four people's lifetime in my lifetime. I've done a lot. Those four people must be pretty boring. I've done a lot in my life. Like I've been on the go. Yeah, I heard you got pulled over on a street bike in winter. Yeah, lots of times. Lots of times. What was for speeding? Did you pass a cop? No, the cop was sitting there with a radar. Okay. Well, I guess I could pass him, I guess. But it was, uh, it was blizzarding. The roads were full of snow. It was late at night. I was cold. And Wonder why you'd be cold in the middle uh, of a yeah, snowstorm on a street bike. Yeah, but I always wear two suits, plus a piece of leather down in front of me to keep me warm. But, but that, I still froze that lots of times. But anyway, I was I was in a hurry to get home, and I was doing 160 kilometers wow. down 62. <laughs> All of a sudden, the lights come on. So he's when I was sitting in the car with him, while I was writing out the tickets. He says, "You know, I had to shut that thing off and turn it on again, and by then you were down 20." Less kilometers. I said, yeah, as soon as I saw you, I let off the gas. And then uh, he's writing out the tickets, and he says, you know, I thought you were a snowmobile at first, but there was only uh, one light, and there's no way a snowmobile would be going that fast down the highway and all this. And then uh, he kept saying to me, I, I, how come you're not mad? And I said, why would I be mad? I said, I'm in the wrong. I was speeding. You're doing your job. <laughs> why would I be mad? <laughs> You think it would have been a little more lenient had you ride in the street like another way? Well, I've got stopped lots of times. Like another time, I was going up the uh, 